heading back home. You know, what is this game going to mean to you? Uh, exciting. Uh, it's the next game up, so you know, got Fresno up to go for this week, so you know, it's going to be an exciting game. Uh, the coaches have talked a lot about you know, kind of your ability to bounce back, especially in that Colorado State game. What what was that game like for you? Uh, just going out there to play it was a special game, you know, especially going against a guy like Michael. Uh, that's one thing about playing DB. You got to learn how to, uh, you know, have short term uh, short term memory. So you know, that game was, you know, pretty nice, pretty good, and glad to come out with a win. So short term meaning the, the last thing you remember then is that, that that's your, we take yeah, from it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a game of football. So the the ball, you know, bounces, you know, funny ways. So you know, you know, he's a great, you know, great player, great guy. You know, he, so he's gonna make his plays. So it's all about, you know, coming back and competing. What was your adjustment that you made in that game? You know, cause certainly the, the first half was the second half was far different from the first half. What you what do you remember about what you did differently? Uh, pretty much just you know staying in it, playing more physical. I felt like uh, you know then again you know you came out you know trying to feel the way, but you know then again with a guy like that you know you just gotta trust your technique and your preparation. So you know same thing coming out second half. You know I just told myself you know trust it. You know just go out there and keep doing what you was doing. Is that kind of like life as a DB too? Because when they see him making the catches, everyone looks, goes, "Oh, there's 14 getting burned again or something." I mean, is that kind of just how it goes? Sometimes, it, it, you know, your, your spotlight's on you. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, we're the last line of defense. So you know, playing DB, you know, every DB can relate to it. You know, if, you know, you get beat, everybody sees it. But then again, you know, you got to make your plays when it's time to make the plays. So short-term memory is a big thing. Well, I mean, <clears throat> that kind of challenge though, you know, being being one-on-one -on -one sometimes with guys and having that. I mean, is that something you kind of embrace? You know, that's always good, especially playing DB. Uh, you know, you look for those challenges at points, you know, when those challenges come up, you know, it's all about preparation. Tyler, what was it like growing up at Fresno, man? It was tough uh, growing up, you know, a lot of guys, you know, in that area, you know, lost a lot of friends, things like that. But, you know, Fresno, it is a good city, a beautiful city at that. When you say, I mean, I don't know if you go a little further than that, you say lost a lot of friends, but what do you mean by that? Uh, you know, growing up in Fresno, everybody knows, you know, it's a lot of gang-related things back at home and stuff like that. So, you know, I lost a couple of, you know, friends, football football players, you know, teammates, things like that uh, in the high school, especially at a young age. You know, some of my close friends, you know, gone to this day, so is, things like that. Is there, is there one incident or anything that kind of sticks with you to the day or anything like that? No, you know, pretty much all the same, you know, gang-related things. So, you know, you be up late, you see the news. I pretty don't stay, you know, your mom's was like, you know, she comes in the room and lets you know, like, hey, you know, your partner just got shot and things like that. So, I mean, growing up, you kind of find a way to deal with it. But then again, you know, it's a way of life. Well, what did that coach mean to you that, that passed away? And, and uh, you know, when, how tough was that kind of finding that out, but, you know, before the game? Uh, it hit me hard. Uh, Tone was a guy, you know, who's always been around before I was even born. More so family, you know, uh, goes way, way back. So. You know, hearing the news uh, from my pops before the game was, was you know, devastating. Uh, he knew uh, that he wanted me to hear from him, but he wanted me to be able to stay focused and, you know, worry about the game. But, yeah, it was it was tough to this day. It still is tough. I mean, what, what does it say about your, your personality, your mindset, you know, your, your drive, I guess, whether it's off the field, on the field, you know, you dealt with a lot of adversity and, you, you know, you obviously, you know, trying your best to overcome it. Uh, just the way, you know, you, you grow up, you know, I have, you know, both parents in the home, both loving parents at that. So, you know, they, you learn from them and, you know, they teach you different things and, you know, just growing up and seeing certain stuff, uh, you kind of, you kind of grow from it, like I can say. So, you know, handling something like that really is difficult, but at the same time, you know, it's life, you know, now I know he's in a, you know, a better place. Did, it? Does it did it affect you during the game at all? I mean, is that something that that, go, that goes in your mind? You know, when you when you start the game, and you only heard about it before you started playing Saturday. So, not at all, not at all. You know, the game was the game when that you know that news came through. It hit, but then again, you know, I was more so focused and worried about the game, and you know, I kind of let that just carry on when I talk back with the family. Will it be? Uh, I mean, how thankful are you to kind of be in the position you're in now? Uh, you know, having a, maybe having to escape some of those scenarios growing up, and then. Um, how cool will it be to go back home and you know be a kid that's clearly succeeding? Uh, every day I'm thankful for you know the coaching staff here. You know they brought me here. You know they gave me the scholarship to better get out of you know that type of situation. So every day when I wake up, you know I thank the coaches. You know I pray them for this opportunity for me to be here, especially for the scholarship. You know going home is always excited, but you know you know just going there to play the ball, play ball. You know that's what preparation is for so far. You know ain't nothing more, nothing less. You know. You know, family's going to be there, but, you know, my whole mindset this game is learning about the game. I know, I know it's new coaches, but did you get recruited by them at all, or did you have an offer from them, from Fresno State? No, I didn't get recruited by, recruited by those coaches. Okay. Going back okay. to your days at Edison, uh, going 
Coach Johnson, what role did he play in getting to Boise State? Matty Johnson played a huge role. You know, we call him Matty J. Uh, he was really on me about, you know, stepping up, being that senior leader. So he more so brought the uh, leadership role out of me. Uh, he kept me focused, you know, not even on the field, but off the field, you know. He uh, really guided me. I can say he's a great man. With the fr real quick, Fresno State looking at their offense, seems like the receivers probably a strength of that team. What, what stands out to you about them? Same thing, you know, just going to watch him on them, you know, better get the preparation going. But, you know, them guys on the side of the ball, they make plays, you know, all three of those receivers, all four of them, even the quarterback, you know, they got some nice guys over there. You ever been to